among all the states in Nigeria. Delta State in the south goes by the sign of statement, the Big Heart. And for most people that are relatively conversant with its rich culture and human resources, that could indeed be a statement of fact. In order to tone this potential, much of which remains unexplored, the Delta State government has been making sustained efforts to harness the abundant creative talent of young people in the areas of entertainment and the arts. Now, joining us now to have a conversation around this is Oguz Baba Ogude, Senior Special Assistant to the Delta State Governor, Talent Development. I want to say welcome to Newsday. Thank you. All right, so let's start it off with, um, we know Delta State, for a fact, seems to be the... The home of talent. Not the just home. The, Okay, the home of uh -huh. talent uh -huh. could, be, the could be debated, <laughs> but when it comes to comedy, yeah. I know... Delta State, without the fact, everybody that wants to do comedy wants to claim to be worthy. Yes, of sorts. identify with us. Yes. That's the home of comedy. Not just comedy, movie also. Okay. That's about the hub of Nollywood. Yes. And yes. Um, also sports. And also, you can't take music from us. Most of the music started from Delta, the whole band estate. Okay. But it's the home of talent. Mm. It's the home of talent. And also, um, every natural worry person is a comedian because of our lifestyle. We don't take things to heart. We just live our life. Does it have anything to do with the language also? Not the really. Pigeon, the the, the, yeah, the Wari pigeon is like, uh, everybody in Wari can speak pigeon. Okay. So even the people from across the Niger that were born in Wari, they speak pigeon. Mm. So everybody in Wari is a Wari boy or a Wari girl. Doesn't mean if you're a Robo, Chakiri, Joe, you know, or Isoko, but if you are born in Wari, you're a Wari boy. And, uh, universal language is a pigeon English. Okay. Yeah. All right. Or they, or, I actually heard the word Wafi boy or Wafi girl. Yeah, Wafi. Yeah. Have you been to worry before? I might have, but that's not the discussion well, for you today. There, you won't talk like this. Oh, of course not. Of yeah. course not. Tissue pigeon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Please. Okay, can we talk about the uh, Delta Talent Economic Summit? Can you tell us a little bit about it? Okay, the Delta Talent Economic Summit 2021, Delta Test, is um, a summit being put together by the Delta State Government and then being supervised by my office as a senior special assistant to the Governor on Talent Development. We're bringing youths together from the 25 local government and also um, visitors are coming outside the state. And um, is, is, we're talking about the economy of talent. It, last year we did a summit, which was the Delta Talent Economic uh, uh, Development Summit, which we brought RMD, Bovi, Alibaba, um, um, Omaomi, Tara Duru to you. And now we're taking it to the next level. Because in Delta State, we believe that you know, people are talented. A lot of people are talented. But we need to also teach them how to make money with their talent so right. that they can be economically viable and also to uh, uh, boom our economy through talent. We don't just have oil, we have talent. Mm. And we believe that one day our, our talent pi pipeline will dr run dry and uh, talent will never die. Oh, you so mean the oil pipeline is a new, will Yes, okay. yes, our but talent, talent will never... uh, our oil pipeline yeah. will run dry, but talent will never die because talent is the new crude in Delta. Well All right, um, we're seeing well the lineup of people. You're having people that will speak from yes. Netflix, YouTube, MTN, MTN Now FIFA. Music, yes. This is one of the music. biggest conglomerates yeah. in the world. Yeah. Now, we, we understand that um, last year when we did the summit, we brought talents. Now we want to bring the business people because we know a lot of people in Delta State that are talented does not understand that they need to put their music, mm -hmm. or they can put their music on boom play mm -hmm. by themselves from their sitting room, you know, mm -hmm. that they can do a movie and put on YouTube on their own. So that's why we are talking about the economy part of talent and also bringing these companies that have the platform. We're bringing now music also. We are bringing mm -hmm. um, MCN Nigeria, uh, a, a lot of uh, spokespersons from different international companies. And also we are still bringing some... Um, Persons in the industry like uh, Kanayo, Kanayo, mm. because you need to do a lot of, you need to sacrifice to get there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, Kanayo. I see what you did there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, this is a great uh, idea. It seems like you've been doing it for a couple of years. And Delta State is the focus, obviously, you are yes. the special assistant to the governor. Is it possible to replicate what you have for other states? Because there's so much youth talent out there, and all these platforms that you're discussing, 
This is information that people pay a lot of money to get. So if you're giving it to them for free and, you know, is it something that can be duplicated across? Okay, let's just take it smaller, not across the nation, but across the Southwest at least. For now, I, 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 I work for Governor Ifan Yokoa. Yes. And I work for Delta State. But I believe um, Delta State is a part of Nigeria and we really want to, you know, take this to the South-South and... Um, if we can spread it across the country. Because sincerely, Delta State is the only state in Nigeria that is really giving much concentration to talent development. Because I was appointed in 2019 as the SSA to the governor. But I sat down and I said, it's not just to do shows or you know, to do jambor. We need to impart people. There are a lot of things. Most of us in this industry, we, we are not well equipped you know, up there. We are not well educated. You know, because some of us started from the streets. And, you know, when you start something from the streets, you know, you just, by luck or by grace, you just get there. So a lot of people need this platform. A lot of people need to be aware that talent is not enough. You can have the talent, but how do you use the talent? You know, that is why you find out that in our country, a lot of people, their talents will die with them. And they may just, at their old days, they'll start complaining about maybe um, the video not sharing money for... Oh, that's not nice. <laughs> <laughs> now, okay, let's talk about everything that's... coming here in terms of talent. Because just thinking about it, you've mentioned some huge names that have actually mm -hmm. cut across yeah. the nation. Let, not, yeah. let me not even talk about Africa now. Yeah. The nation, because yeah. you mentioned the likes of RMD. Yes. Alibaba. Alibaba. Bovi. Bovi. I go die. I go save. I go die. I go save. Yes. Omaomi. 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 Arisong. You've never mentioned Arisong. Tara also. Yes. And uh, um, um, Mr. Easy, his mother is from Delta. Oh, wow. Right. Yes. All right. The top shots in MTN. Yes. You could go on and on and on. Yeah. I'm out Melvin Pinnock, yeah. who's also yes. in FIFA and the NFF president. Yeah. And I, and I look at all this and I say to myself, Aside this, aside what you're trying to do, or is this the reason why you're trying to put all this together? Because people in Delta State should be dominating Nigeria in terms of entertainment and the creative space. Having all these people in Delta, coming from Delta State at once, and they are not people that are far away from Delta. They actually identify with their roots. You know, sincerely, sometimes we don't appreciate what we have. And it's, it's a general pro problem. Like you said, we started from talking about Pigeon English. You know, it started from worry. But if you find out the, the first radio Pigeon radio station started in Lagos, because even the worry people does not understand that this is product. This is something they can make money from. You know, what, what motivates us in Delta State to do all this is not because we just have the people. Because we have a governor that understands, you know, human capacity development and understand youth development also. So the governor appointed me and gave me the, the mandates, you know, you know, and also gave the support. It's all about the support because if the government has, does not have the ideology to move talent development, we'll just be there. And if you have somebody as your SS or someone piloting the affair that does not have pa passion for what he does or understand that to All go right, about it. Because, be so because of time constraint, yeah. when is it happening and where? First December, the Dome Event Center, Asaba, the most peaceful city in Nigeria as we speak. <laughs> All right. And uh, <laughs> the keynote speaker is His Excellency Governor Ifan Yokawa. And um, it's free. All you need to do is just go to the website and log on to www.deltatalentdevelopment.ng and uh, we, we are really doing everything possible to bring even the youth that cannot you know, register online. We're going through the uh, 25 local government in Delta State you mm. know, to convey people there because we really want those youth to understand that talent yeah. is not enough. Right. Well, August Baba, it was very good to meet you today. Nice to be with you Wishing guys. you all the best of luck on the 1st yeah, of December first of the first for of the sum summit. Thanks mm. to Arise TV, Arise News. Thank you for this opportunity. Thanks for always supporting Delta State.